Hey everybody, anyone is here, and I am in a new world. This is Gift, made by Vex. Actually, it's the Gift Warped version of it. It's a uh, map based on a novel by Andrea Buchanan. Buchanan. I wonder if she's any related. No. Uh, Andrea Buchanan and Vex commi uh, she commissioned, commissioned Vex and he made the map and the original version was I guess easier than this but uh, the warped version is a harder version I guess for more Minecraft players I don't know what that means uh, standard rules apply find and complete the gift monument use at least easy never peaceful and we are on hard uh, do not leave the map boundaries Find wool and chest. Do not use sh sh die. Blah 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 blah. So you know the rules. Uh, let's get this started now. This is not my first time playing this map. Unfortunately, um, I actually got it. I don't want to say far, but I got a little ways before, and I realized that my recording was completely blank. So I know the first thing I need to do is gain some string because it's going to stay, um, it's going to be raining out for a long time. Another thing you have to notice here is that this will blow up. I didn't set it off before, but I knew just by playing a Vex map that that's going to blow up. So the first thing I want to do is just gain some basic resources. That is not wood. Uh, actually, I think there's more rooms in this place that might have some stuff. Uh, maybe through here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Whoop. Uh, not bad. Got some pants. Got a sword. And don't have much health, which is not good. Uh, hunger, at least. And this is just the master bath. I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, no. Okay. So let's finish getting our wood, and we will make a pickaxe, uh, a wooden axe, and then I might even get some cobble, because under these floors there's cobble. What I really need to do, like I said before, is I need to get some string so I can make some wool so I can make it light out, because these houses are all filled with uh, skeleton spawners. So it gets a little dangerous out there. And especially with the night out, with uh, the rain, even with the rain so the mobs don't go away during the day. Um, it gets a little gets a little hard. So we want to make it daytime, make it easier to clear this area. And that should be more than enough. Okay, get some sticks. I guess four is fine right now. Make that. I don't know why I didn't put that there in the first place. Make that. Actually, I probably shouldn't have made that wooden pick. Uh, well, I guess the wooden axe is fine. So what do we want? We want about six, seven cobble. We want a pick. We want a sword. And we want an axe. And I'm almost out of food already. How little can that be? And five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay, make some more sticks again. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make that. And we're gonna make not that, because I don't have enough. One more. Okay. Miscounted. A little bit. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Bang. That. And you know what? For good luck, I am going to make one more sword. One more sword. Because I'm going to have to be facing a lot of guys out there. And I don't have much health. Ah, uh, fun hunger. Again. Here we go. Here we go. I believe, actually, before I go, yeah, yeah. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to put one of these back in here. Because we definitely want to cook that. Uh, let's eat some of this. torches with the rest of these because we will need torches for the spawners and that's done get that on our food bar and eat these oh I guess those don't do anything that was a waste okay so now let's see if we can go spider hunting Let's mark that so we know which one's our house. Now, around here, there is the Victory Monument. Down there, well, we'll see a little bit. Let's see. Get some spiders. Come on, some spiders. Stay away from the skellies. We just want spiders. Zombies, we don't mind either. Nice. Two wool. Two string. So we need twelve. Twelve string. It's not too bad. Get this creeper. Nice. We're getting there with string. We already have half our number. Getting very lucky. Uh, let's go this way. Oh. Ooh, coming out of the tall grass. He only gave us one, but that's fine. You know what? Let's kill this guy. Uh, we need more spiders. I don't want spiders near skeletons, though. So let's not do that. Let's see if we can find some over here. Spiders. Spiders, spiders. We have seven pieces of string already. And keep looking. This is a really nice place. I guess this is a neighborhood and this is everyone's houses. It's always good to see. Uh, there's some really other cool places around here. I didn't really get to explore much, but I got a little bit around here explored. I uh, seen that there's a railroad I didn't really get to get too far into. There we go. What'd I get? What'd I get? Oh, what did I get? Two more, two more. Whoa! Whoa! That wasn't nice. Two more string, that's all we need. Is that a spider? I can't believe you've seen the lightning strike right there. Funny story, when I first started playing this game, I was playing on a friend's server, and I was playing maybe ten minutes into the game, and it became dark out, you know? Uh, cool, 12 string. So I had to uh, find a home, and um, I was running through the mountains, and it started raining, and it started thundering like this. So first of all, I seen a pig get hit with th um, lightning right in front of me. And I, I didn't realize how rare that was. I thought that was a common occurrence. And then five minutes later, I got hit with a uh, bolt of lightning. Now, from that moment on, that was the last time I seen lightning. But I thought that was pretty interesting to see both of those things right in front of me. Anyways, so here we go. We have the string. Bang. Okay. And we have the wood. Let's make ourselves a bed. Sleep off the night. Make it nice and day out. Oh, this is great. And you know what? This is a good house to start with, I bet. I do have to disable. Oh, oh, sun's coming up. I gotta hurry up. Whew. See the sun? Alrighty then. Let's put some light on in here just to be safe. And look at that. Now it's a beautiful day in this town to get some beef cooking. 
and just take a look back outside. Now there's still going to be mobs all around. There is some shady spots, and you know that the new AI, they look for it. That's fine. Um, so my first task is going to be to go through all these houses. Uh, there's some good stuff down there is where I need to go, I think. Um, and, you know, raid the houses. There's some spawners in them. I think I might keep the spawners and just deactivate them for now. I don't know if they're going to make them any type of uh, mob farm, but I like having the option. And I think somewhere, I think it might be totally across that way, there is another, there's the first wall. So uh, let me get myself set up, eat those pork chops, and we will go checking out the area. Okay, so now I'm going to go through these houses one by one. Let me just make sure I'm not unmuted. Okay. And let's see what we got. Inside these houses, there's some uh, nice loot in a lot of different places. Uh, but there's spawners in every single one of them, so we have to be a little careful. Oh, and there's a zombie. Hello, zombie. Ah, stupid. Oh, I got it. Okay. Let's get these. Bang. Bang, first of all. Oh, am I going to die? Nope. Okay. First one down. And there, one is here, I think, yeah, and the other one's probably over here somewhere, yeah, oh no, I guess, maybe I should get rid of these, because I don't think there's, yeah, I'm going to get rid of them, uh, maybe not, hold on, let's see, ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I will get rid of them. Because now I have all the torches I need. Break those all down. We'll say... Yeah, it should be enough for now. I want to keep some coal. Okay, so this is cleared. I think that... Yeah, there's more rooms. Uh, this is a bathroom. Nothing really important. You know what? I am going to take these pistons. You never know when pistons are going to become useful. Uh, I will take bookcases also, so I could eventually find an enchant table. But right now, there's so many of them. I'll wait till wherever I find my base and do it there. Okay, so we want to do something that will just knock this block out. That's how we know we went to that one already. Uh, we started there, so let's go to this one. And it's going to be the same thing. They're not all the spawners aren't in the same place, but they're in the same general vicinity. So, oh, dig another one spawned already. Oh, no. Put another light here. That should be good. And let's see. Ooh, a lot of good stuff in here. Let's get some of this armor on. Get that on. Okay. Let's take the chest. Now, I'm going to start running out of room really quickly. So I'm going to have to find where I'm going to make my base. And I think I have an idea of where I'm going to make it uh, towards the end of this area. Did I go in the, um, This is just the bathroom again. You know what? I'll get another piston. Uh, towards the end of the area, there's a big house that I've seen before. And I really like the house, so I'm going to use that house, I think. And break. Okay. I think it's that house right there. And there's, a, well, we'll make it there. There's a railroad station over there. Okay, let's get the zombie. And get our torches equipped. And get these things lit. And kill the skelly. And I think in this one, it's right here. Yeah. And maybe here again. Somewhere over here, I'm sure. Okay, let's see what we got in these chests. Nope. Uh, bow. Nice. And uh, we'll do some moving around here. And we don't need the doors. We don't need signs, stairs. I'm going to take the hoe. I'm going to take the cookie. Uh, what else don't we need? Uh, I want to keep everything else. 
Okay. Oh. I guess I did not light this up well enough. Uh, where could he have spawned? I don't know. I guess over here somewhere? I don't know. Okay, let's just keep moving. And mark it. And which way are we going? That's where I want to be. So let's go this way. And there must be them in here too, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is some really good stuff. So let's take this. We want to put these on. Uh, we want the arrows, that, uh, we want this too. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go make the base. Well, let's see what's in here real quick. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to go into the house in the far end, make the base, uh, this one. I at least put down some chests. Wait, is it that one? No, I'm wrong. It was this way, okay. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna make this far house over here. The one. Okay. Yeah, this is the house. It's just a little bigger. A little bit more space. Uh, actually, it's not the house I'm thinking of, but it's good enough. Okay, so let's lay, let's clear out some room in the living room. Uh, yeah, we'll make it here, and we'll get rid of these. So we'll make this the storage area. Uh, just throw those down for now. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm just going to drop everything in there. Uh, just keep what I need on me. Uh, and I wanted to keep... What did I put in here? I want to keep my arrows, of course. And... If there's something else in here I think I wanted to keep. Oh, the coal. There you go. No wood on me. I could always get more wood. Okay, so let's see what's in these chests. There we go. Some more stuff. Uh, let's just take the whole chest. And let's see what's in this chest. Uh, some more stuff. Oh, and we want to do the chest too. Okay. Let's get some more chests down. And let's just dump everything in here. And now we can continue picking stuff up. And let's go back. Okay, so now I kind of messed up because it's now getting dark out and I am not near my bed. Uh, I think my bed is this way. Let's see if we can get there before stuff starts spawning. No, it's not this. This way? Yeah, this way. 
It's around the corner and at the end of the streets. Okay, things are going to be spawning. You see it back there. And we are there. Good. And you know what? This time we're even going to take our bed with us. Yeah, so let's take the bed. And is there anything in here that I did not take? Oh, there's this. Okay, so let's deactivate this. And you know what? Let's take some of this redstone. I, I, want, I don't know what that does. I found that there before. Uh, I'm assuming it's some type of explosion. I think that's probably a safe bet. Take this chest. And take this. I guess that's it. Okay, so let's go back. Let's continue on looking at other houses. I feel like I'm playing Zelda right now. I'm going around looting all these different houses. Breaking chests, finding rupees. You know how we do it. Okay. We are done with this house. You know what? I want that picture. Yeah. And you know what? I don't think I checked these. I don't think there's really anything in them. I think one had food, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's get to that. Oh, I'm already low on food again. Luckily, this is a very uncommon thing in most of uh, Vex's maps. Grass everywhere. And we gotta get the skellies, gotta get the skellies. The worst part is I'm not lighting up. Uh, am I clearing them? Let's do that one there too. Okay, anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. But I'll take that. And I don't have any food. Zombie flesh, yum. I know I have that pork chop, but it's a cooked pork chop, so I want to save that. And let's see what's in this guy. Um, not bad, not bad. See, I'm already starting to fill up on things. Let's take that. I don't think there's many houses left. And let's break that. And I am going this way. Oh, I think this is the house I liked, but it's too far. There's a uh, pier back there, but it doesn't appear that there's anything in the pier. It seems to just go out to nowhere. I'm assuming it probably has something to do with the book. So you see that? These zombies shooting from behind. As much as I like the new AI, that just seems a little cheaty to me. Well, whatever. Okay. Double chest. Ooh, now I got a hat. Get the hat on. Take the sword. Let's break this down and take this too. We'll take that picture. We will take that piston. Oh, I guess I still didn't light this up well enough. Anything here? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Definitely want this, so we can put back the pressure plate. Definitely want this, so we can put back nothing. Is there anything here I don't want to keep? I think I want to keep everything. You know what? I don't need them all. Okay. But we do want to take this. Okay. Oh. Let's 
still got a exponent. I did a bad, bad job of lighting this place up. Or maybe it was just in here. I don't know. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. Um, let's see, now I gotta run all the way back there to put this stuff down. Where did these guys come from? Hmm. Where can there be? There must be a spider spawner somewhere here. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where can it be? somewhere. That's that. It has to be somewhere close. Because those guys spawned quick. Hmm. It's too light to see it. Is it in here? No. It has to be out here somewhere. Well, I guess let's do this. I'm gonna waste a ton of torches, but I'm not gonna go all the way around, because I was on this side when it started spawning. figure where it is tomorrow night. Okay, so I still need to get some houses at the end of that block, but I hate just running, so I'm going to start from this side. Ooh, this guy has a nice wrought iron fence. He must have money. Oh, hey, Mr. Creeper. I think I hear a slime somewhere. Hmm. Uh, well, there's nothing here. You think the rich people would have something? Well, I guess there's one more door. I don't know what's behind this. No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing in this house, but just some problems. Uh, maybe some. Okay, a little chicken. Ooh, some bottles. Sorry about that. That's my calendar notification on my phone. And let's break this. And see what's in the sky. the calendar notification on my computer. Ooh. Now that's nice to see. Then we're going to put that right on. Look how much armor we got now. I don't think I need any more chests. So we got something from here. And... Okay. A 
again, we are running out of space. Uh, I don't think we really need that. Not going to need that. We'll drop that too. Okay. Let's knock a hole in this wall. And move on to the next house. Okay, so we see the first fleecy box. I knew this was over here. That's why I tried to wait to the end for this. Um, this is a pretty... It would actually be pretty difficult if you did not go to sleep and you waited for the rain to go away. But we're smarter than that. We're not going to do that. Um, so you can see here he left some signs basically explaining what this is, the fleecy box. And he tells you about uh, gravel. Now that's very uncommon of him. Uh, I guess he's just being nice because this is going to have some a lot of people who are not used to his maps playing it. But he also says something interesting. Breaking gravel can sometimes reveal caves. The natural caves have resources but no wool chests. Hopefully I save someone a lot of searching. Uh, I forget where it was. Somewhere, maybe all the way back there I think it was, or something like that. I found a bunch of gravel on the floor. When I broke the gravel, everything fell down into a cavern. And then down in the cavern, it really didn't look like anything was down there. Whoop. Skele. Didn't look like anything was down there. Uh, except a lot of mobs. Now, over here he says that it is uh, for resources. But I did not see any resources, at least jumping at me. So, I'm not sure what kind of resources he's talking about, but I didn't see anything. But maybe it's something cool. Maybe there's like coal down there. That's what I'm thinking. Or I don't. I don't think there's gonna be iron down there. Maybe eventually there's gonna be iron down there, but I don't think right off the bat. Oh, I didn't get wool, did I? Let's go back there. So, not exactly sure what he means by that, but I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure if those caves have really any importance, we'll be down there sooner or later. Okay. So let's get the standard 10. Why is 10 standard? I don't know, but I like to get 10. How much time do we have left? Uh, oh, it's still midday. But I am almost out of torches, which is going to make lighting these houses a tad bit difficult. Look at all those pigs around. Plenty of food. That reminds me, I should eat something. We'll eat some. Actually, you know what? We'll eat the pork chop. And I guess we'll. Oh, the cookie. Oh, the cookie only gives half. I eh, might as well do it now. Who cares? Well, it's a waste. I'll just eat this. Actually, oh, I'm regenerating like this? Okay, so I won't eat nothing. That's okay. Uh, this is the pier I was talking about. There's really nothing there. I guess it has something to do with the game, uh, with the book itself. Uh, I've been there, obviously. Oh, so is this all that's left on this side? Uh, we're going to need some very well-placed torches. That's not well-placed whatsoever. <laughs> we need to get rid of this, I think. What was it, right here? Yeah, yeah let's get rid of that. Yeah, maybe we should try to find the other one. Uh, maybe over here somewhere? No? Over here? Oh, there we go. Okay. We don't need all of the spawners, and I doubt I'm ever really going to do anything with the spawners, but it's hard to give up skeleton spawners. Okay. So we can use that. Definitely can use that. Oh, uh, we can get rid of that, use that, use that, and do we have any other garbage? Uh, no, okay. So I think this might have been the last house. I think. I think I did everywhere else, yeah. There's a little park over there I haven't checked out yet, but it's almost dark. Yeah, so everything looks to be lit up and opened. Yep, and there's my house all the way down there. So I'm going to run back to my house, organize my stuff, and in the next episode, 
I guess we'll investigate the railroad and what goes down there. Though, now that it's getting dark out, I might try to peep out where those spiders are coming from. If I can see them. Well. Okay, so... I just set up all my stuff. As you can see, I made a little bedroom in here. And then I made a little weapons shed right here. I don't have a ton of stuff in here, but I have a lot of stuff in there, nothing in there, a couple blocks in here, some miscellaneous stuff here, and some miscellaneous stuff here. So, what I'm going to do before I end the episode, and I knew I was going to say, I said I was going to end the episode, but I might as well put the wool on the Victory Monument. So, let's go to the Victory Monument, plop the wool down, hope I'm going the right way, right, yeah, exactly, and we'll have the first wool done. Back here is where I was talking about, I found the gravel pit that led me into the caverns, and as you can see up here, there's some really big structures in the sky. Not really sure what they are about, but I can tell you at, at the very least, I'm sure they cast huge shadows. So let's get this white wool in. Ooh, and I see a cow. I see a few cows. So we're gonna get these cows. But before I do that, there is a oh no, a monument chest here, and it has some glass and some that. You know what? We're gonna take that to listen to a little music some jack-o'-lanterns. You know what, we're just going to light the place up a bit. Make sure nobody's really going to start spawning here. The last thing we want to do is come back here to put some wool down and have a creeper here. So we want to light it up fairly well. Let's see, one there. How many did I go? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, perfect. You know what? We shall eat you. I'm not going to use my good sword on him. Ooh, lots of beef. And you? A little bit of beef. So that should be good here, I think. You know what? Let's give it one of these jammies, too. Oops. There you go. Okay. So first wool done. Mo uh, monument lit up. We have lots and lots more to go. So next time we will be running in that area. We're going to check out the train station. Check out the structures we see back there. And see maybe if we can get a clue about what those are. So until next time, thanks for watching and have a good night.